Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. Now it's that time of year again, autumn, my favorite time of the year to shoot. But I find it overwhelming, even daunting at times. There's just so much to get in, from really big landscapes to tiny little details, all sorted by some fantastic colors, from deep reds and deep oranges to bright yellows, all bookended by a limited time frame. We might have a week or two at the very most when the colors are at their prime to get our images. So before going anywhere, I need to think about what I want to achieve and what I need to bring with me in order to get those images. Location, location, location. It's the prime directive when it comes to autumn photography. You need to know your area. And that often means scouting locations throughout the year and keeping a mental note of where the best spots will be when the color shifts. If you happen to be visiting, say North America, you know that in the east where there's going to be lots of deciduous forests where the colors will change, whereas in the west they're mostly fir trees where the colors won't change. So know your location, whether you're at home or you're away. So for autumn pictures, the landscape rules apply, especially when it comes to time of day. That hour after sunrise and the hour before sunset, the magic hours are still the best times to shoot. But there is a bit of a debate when it comes to weather, cloudy days or sunny days. Now a sunny day you're going to get brightly lit, backlit, vibrant, contrasty color. But personally I like uh, cloudy days where I get a deeper color, more true color. When it comes to metering, I tend to stick with matrix metering. I just get better, more even results. And for exposures, I tend to underexpose by about half a stop. During film days, we call this thickening the negative. Basically, it helps to improve the color a little bit, deepens the, deepens the saturation a little bit. And don't forget to shoot in raw and always shoot in manual. Now, your point of view is also going to have an effect on your pictures, your final image. Personally, I favor looking down from an elevated position from one side of a valley to the other, where there's a nice big wall of trees, like the one behind me. This also allows me to use longer lenses. Now, I really like longer lenses for autumn pictures. They allow me to, to zone in on a patch of, of a color, creating this nice big canvas. I also like the way that longer lenses reduce the depth of field and compress the pictures. But that's not the only lenses I use. I do use my 24, 35, and a 50 for the bigger landscape shots and I will switch to a macro when I want nice tight shots, say of leaves or something. The 1.4 lenses allow me to uh, blur out the backgrounds if I need to, or I can shoot at f11 or f16 for that really great tack sharp foreground to background shot. So another element that's going to add some punch to your awesome color pictures is throwing a bit of water in the mix. I'm thinking lakes, ponds and streams. The ponds and the lakes for those great reflections you get, especially in the morning when things are calm. The streams to add a little bit of motion. Now in a previous video we looked at some of the filters that help with this, the graduated neutral density filter and the standard neutral density filter. I would still use these, but I would add my polarizer as well. This helps to take a bit of glare off the water and cuts down on the contrast on the foliage. Other things to be aware of are things like fog and mist. They add a real sense of mystery to your pictures. Look for autumn frost on, the, on your leaves in the mornings. All this stuff really helps to make your pictures sing. So that's it for me, and I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Now, we've been talking about autumn color pictures, the way I work. I want to hear how you work, so please send us in lots of suggestions and lots of ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos, and you can like, comment, or share in this video. And please stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.